Luke's Reviews Shopify tutorial, how to use Luke's Reviews on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. So if you want to integrate a review section for your Shopify store, you can easily do that with Luke's Reviews. So let's get ahead and start integrating Luke's into our Shopify store. So first off, I'm going to set some of my products as active products so we can actually view the review section on these products. Now, once you have a couple of products, you can click on apps on the bottom left and click on apps and sales channel settings. Then click on the Shopify app store to open up the Shopify app store. From here, you are just going to search for Luke's and then download Luke's product reviews app. So you will find it to be the first application that is specifically built for Shopify. They have a 14 day free trial and you can click on install over here to begin your installation. One thing to keep in mind with Luke's reviews is that they don't have a free plan. They only have a 14 day free trial. After that, you would have to subscribe to one of their plans. Now I am going to pin this to our navigation and I'm going to be using a beginner plan and I'll take the beginner plan over here. And from here, you have to confirm your payment. Obviously, it's going to take payments from the same payment method that you have inserted for your Shopify billing. So whatever card or whatever method you are using for Shopify payments, it is going to be using the same payment method. So you will see the due date for your bill and just click on approve over here to complete the installation of Luke's. Now, once you have completed this, you can get started with integrating it into your Shopify store. So first off, you're just going to click on continue and then click on enable Luke's core script. Once you do that, a new tab will open up and on the top left corner, you are going to have the Luke's app embed and this will be turned on. And then you're going to click on save just so that change is saved. Once you've done that, you're going to go back and click on continue and click on add product reviews widgets. Once you do that, you're going to insert the product review widget into your store. So this will open up any Shopify product and the product review widget will be inserted. Now you can customize this later on and I'll show you guys exactly how, but for now just click on save and then move on to the next step. Once you've done that, you're going to click on add rating widget, which is going to be the number of stars that people can rate your product with. So I'm just going to insert that over here as well. And the rating widget automatically is placed at the bottom of all the product information. However, I like to keep my ratings listed right under the product title. So from the left bar over here, I like to hold it and then place it right below the title of the product. Once I've done that, I will click on save on the top right and proceed back into our first tab. Once we've done that, click on continue over here and select your store's primary language. After that, you're going to choose the widget that you want to use. I want a simple widget, which is straight. I don't want this kind of widget. Some people prefer that. I just like it in a simple linear manner. So I'm going to select this one. Now, the brand coloring that I'm using is black and the icon color is going to be yellow and the icon style is going to be in the form of stars. You can convert this in coffee cups, t-shirts, trophies, hearts, fire, other star emoji styles as well. So I want a rounded star or maybe I think I'm going to keep the sharp ones. And then after that, I might want to take my brand color to gray instead of just being black. And then the icon color should be a really deep pink instead for our stars. And then I will click on continue. Now, when should the Luke's Reviews application ask for review fulfillment for your product? So I want this to be after purchase and I want this to be six days after purchase. And you can alter this. Let's say you can choose to make it after fulfillment. So as soon as a customer's order is fulfilled, they will be sent an email request that Hey, you've received your product, could you please review it? Or you can do it directly after purchase. So even if the fulfillment hasn't been completed, the customer would still receive a review email. Now, obviously after fulfillment makes sense, but if you're not updating your fulfillment very often, you can go on ahead and use after purchase, but I'm gonna go after fulfillment and I want this to be two days after fulfillment or even one day after fulfillment. And then I'll click on continue. Now you can offer a discount for submitting photo and video reviews. This helps in building more trust with your brand. If people or customers see that, you know, people in the past have reviewed this product and this product has gotten good reviews, what this does is that 
People are motivated more intensely to purchase your product when they know that it is trustable. It's something that other people are using frequently as well. So I'm going to be providing a 10% discount and then I'll click on continue. After that, you can also set up your referral program. I don't want to set up a referral program, so I'm going to just add a $1 referral and the minimum purchase is going to be for $10 and then I'll just click on continue. And I don't want to display the referral widget as well because I want to focus primarily on reviews as well. Now, after this, I'll click on continue and then I will go on ahead and get started. So once we've done that, we can click on enter the admin. And from here, we can customize our widgets with our particular style. So you will see this will show you all the reviews you have received, all of the upsells and then the referrals. On the left, you have your settings panel. And if you click on settings, you can click on general appearance and choose your logo, the corners, the rating icons, the widget fonts you want to use. Let's say I want to use Open Sans, and then the email appearance as well. This email appearance is very bright, so you can choose your own background as well. Now, once you've done that, you can go into integrations and integrate different applications to further boost your sales. Then you also have the order section and then a general setting sections to add Luke's reviews and customize it or localize it as well. So if you want to build a different review widget for a different area, if you're shipping worldwide and you only want to display reviews from a certain region within that region, you can click on localization and localize and provide multilingual support into your review widget. You also have transparency where you can indicate that a review was imported from an external source. I'm going to remove that because I don't want my customers to know if I imported this review or if it was added by itself. Indicate that a review was marked by as a verified by the store owner. I'm going to turn that off as well. Indicate that a review was written by a site visitor and that is all I want to keep. Now, this is totally up to you. Usually these transparency features are not great if you are a dropshipper. So for dropshippers, I recommend you turn off most of these, but if you are someone designing your own product, it's really great to turn these on. After that, you have the customers or the person that is reviewing your product have their name formatted. So I want this to be first name and then, yeah, first name and then last initial. And then you have product groups as well as external pages. Now in Luke's reviews, you also have the options for creating reviews, upsells, and more. However, first off, we're going to look at our Shopify store now to see what our review widget currently looks like. So if I open up my product over here and scroll down, you guys will see that this product currently does not have a review. And if I click on the stars over here, I can go on ahead and, you know, click on write a review and write a review. I can add the number of stars. I can add the photos or skip and tell about our experience. It's an amazing sweater like this and then click on next over here you can enter the first name last name and email and then click on done now when i click on continue and go back into this first product the review will be displayed so you guys can see a review has been displayed and now this particular product has a star rating now if you want to customize the appearance in your shopify store of the review widget go into online store on the left panel and then click on customize once you click on customize you can always go into your home page and in your home page you can click on add section and then in your add section you can click on apps and you can add a card carousel, a review widget, a gallery carousel, and add trust badges, testimonials, and product reviews directly onto your homepage as well. So if I click on the product review widget, this will insert a review widget directly into my homepage where I can build more trust with my customers by displaying the reviews directly into my homepage. Other than that, if you want to make your overall brand seem more trustable, you can add a testimonials carousel where people can insert their testimonials and you can add particular testimonials you want to display as well, as well as a trust badge where you can insert the different you know accolades or the different types of deals or ratings that you have received. So once you've done that, you can click on save and that is how you can get started with Luke's reviews on Shopify. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.